I married a comic. Um, yeah, oh no, I know. Two comedians, so much depression, so little time. <laughs> How do you do it? We don't, we never do it. No, he, he's wonderful, but I think it's so funny. Are, are there a lot of married folks in here? Okay, all right. So you'll get this and then you tell the others. Uh, <laughs> You never marry who you think you're gonna marry. And, and he's wonderful, but in junior high, girls have these lists that you make, you know, of who you're gonna marry. And yeah, Tim, he doesn't play the piano or drive a ship. Uh, those were the only two things on my list. I was being open-minded. Because when you're young, you think you know how romance works, right? But that's not how romance works. How romance works is you meet somebody, you're tired, so you get married. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're lucky. It worked out great for us, right? But, um, oh, you think you know everything about romance. When, like, I thought I did because my mom had stacks of those Harlequin romance paperbacks. Yes, it was like a red light district down at the end of the hallway. <laughs> and no teenage girl should ever read a romance novel because it sets you up for a lifetime of disappointment. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Because your husband doesn't understand that in order for romance to happen, one of you has to be out on the prairie. <laughs> yeah. Maybe doing some farm chores, okay? <laughs> Maybe you're washing clothes on one of those Wrigley boards and you're wearing your best peasant's dress and you're just working and you're washing and you're washing and you're wa and you're <gasps> a pirate? <laughs> How did he get here? Yeah, and this novel takes place in Kansas and that's a landlocked state, so... 